Hey everybody, this is Andy from Tabletop Anarchy. Today in this painted tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how I paint the German infantry from Warlord Games. These are the new plastic ones that were released not too long ago. Great little kit, uh, hope this helps and hope you enjoy the video. Once you've built the miniature, just put a quick primer down. Light gray is always my preference, but obviously if you've got your own preferences or you find it easier to work with different colors, this tutorial will work with any primer you choose. The first paint I grab is the field grey paint from Army Painter. I mix that in with a few drops of water and the two main reasons really that I thin paint out is because one, it doesn't obscure any details and get in them recesses and secondly, you don't, leave it, you don't see any brush strokes in the miniature and it's a lot easier to put an extra coat of paint on than to try and smooth out all them lumps and bumps that you don't want on a miniature. Uh, and that colour I just apply everywhere on the great coat itself and that's pretty much that step so let's move on to the next step next step i grabbed necromancer cloak from army painter thinned it down again with a couple of drops of water just to help improve the flow of the paint and i applied that to any dark areas on the miniature and in this case it was his boots helmet and webbing and also his assault rifle and magazine the paint itself is like a really dark grey, which is always better than using black, I feel, because when a wash does eventually go on this miniature, the wash fills in the recesses to create like a real dark shadow, which is always good, because if you put black on it, you put a wash on it, you're not gonna notice much of a difference. So I always think going real dark grey brings a lot more definition to it and helps everything pop out. So yeah, as you can tell, thin paint as well, just flowing nicely into the back there on the webbing. And, uh, and it's something you'll see me do all the time, to be honest, is I never really use paint straight out of the bottle. I always stick a couple of drops of water in, because the worst case, you're gonna have to put a second coat on. I'd, and I'd rather do that than ruin a miniature with, with clumpy paint on it, to be honest. Next, grab yourself a light grey, slightly lighter than Necromancer Cloak, and apply that to the headscarf and gloves. For this, I use London Grey from Vallejo, but you can use any grey really, as long as it's slightly lighter than Necromancer Cloak. Next, I used Banshee Brown, thinned out again, just to go over any of the canvas parts on your miniature. The next step, I grabbed Monster Brown, and I painted the sling on the assault rifle. Next step, uh, I used oak brown for any of the darker brown parts. So in this case, it was the water bottle and the wooden stock for the assault rifle. This next step is where your miniature really comes together. And to do that, you're gonna to wanna to apply a quick wash. I use Quickshade Strong Tone from Army Painter mixed in with their Quickshade Mixing Medium. I roughly do it 70 to 30 in favor of the Strong Tone because I find it easier to always put a second coat on if you want it a bit stronger, but it's really hard to get rid of if you put too much on. As you can see now, you can really see all the details pop and it fills them recesses beautifully and it really, really makes your miniature come to life. It's now time to start highlighting your miniature. For that, I use the Field Grey and Filthy Cape from Army Painter. I mixed it roughly 50-50 with a few drops of water again just to help the flow. Uh, just fill the end of your paintbrush and just lightly drag it across all the raised edges of the great coat. And it really helps now obviously stand out between your highlight, your layer and your wash. And it really, really starts to come together now. I now move on to the second highlight, which is of the dark areas. 
To do that, I used Spaceship Exterior and Necromancer Cloak, the previous coat. Mix that again, 50-50 mix, roughly with a few drops of water. Follow the same process as before, and it really helps all them dark, uh, dark areas of the miniature really pop and uh, stand out nicely now. Just a few quick highlights now. I used Monster Brown to highlight the stock and the water bottle. I used Leather Brown to highlight the sling on the assault rifle. And I used Drake Tooth to highlight all the canvas parts. One of the final steps is to apply a flesh base. For this, I used Cobalt Skin. It's quite pale, which is good because these are primarily gonna be out in the winter so it's a light pale color because obviously they would have been quite pale just a couple of coats get good coverage and on to the next step the final step now is to apply a wash to that flesh base for this i used quick shades flesh wash mixed in with some of their medium roughly 50 50 mix works for me and i applied two coats for this particular miniature Well, that concludes the tutorial for today, guys. Hope it helped. I've gone ahead now and based this mini on a winter theme base. If you liked it, like it. If you want to see more from Tabletop Anarchy, not just painting tutorials, but basically anything tabletop gaming, hit that subscribe button. If you've got any questions or there's any tutorials you want me to cover, pop it in the comments below. And if you want to paint your own winter Germans, a list of the materials and paints that I've used are in the description below. Hope to see you in the war room soon.